So I'm cutting through the armhole, okay, of the yoke. So I close my boss that to this point. And then I will apply my adhesive. So I close. Can you see that? So once that is done, I'm going to separate the yolk now. Now I've called the boss that I'm separating the yolk. Can you see? So this is what you'll be having. So let me finish up with what I have right here. On the bust area, I'm going to cut off. And on this part, I will also cut off this, that. But I noticed that once you match it together from the bust point to the chest line, you have a lot of shortage. So we've been doing this in this tutorial. So all I'm going to do is to come in with my piece of paper and apply my adhesive so I'll be able to blend that line accordingly. Okay, so I'm blending what I have right here to accommodate the shortage I have on that line. So this is the shortage. I'm matching it up from the boss point to the chest line. That is how I expect you to match it up. So once that is done, the next thing I want to do is to blend what I have. Okay, so I'm blending what I have now with my pattern ruler. I'll come in the way I placed my ruler when I drafted it. Can you see that? To this point. It has to start from this point so you don't add more to, the, to it. Alright, so I'll cut now. And from here, I will separate the boots. So you can see this is equal right now once you sew it. And this one, this is how you are going to sew it. So I will come with what I have on the yoke. Remember the yoke, this is the armhole line. The shoulder seam line. The natural neck remains the same because this is a shirt, okay? You are going to attach, after drafting the back neckline, you are going to attach your collar. I have a detailed video on how to make a shirt collar on this channel as well, so you can still check it out. So this is what we have on the pattern, and this part of the bust here now is the Ankara, and this part is going to be the... Uh, the plain fabric so if you have to match up what we have at center line center line you can see center line matches up together and if you have to bring this you can see why we replace the that i'm bringing this point to this point can you see so it's matching up and we bring this point to this point everything matches up accordingly so that is how your pattern is supposed to be so after you have padded this after you have padded and sewn your bust here, next is, is to cut out this on a plane like this and sew it, okay? Sew it as your yoke. All right, so we are done with this part. So the next thing we want to do is to come in with what we have on the, um, on the sleeve, okay? So I traced out my basic long sleeve. So it's all your choice. It depends on where you want your long sleeve to but for the purpose of this tutorial, I just traced out a little to demonstrate to you how this is going to be done. So now we are going to measure because this particular sleeve is attached to this part. Can you see? So if this is your armhole and this is the sleeve, um, I want to make it to match up with what we have right here. So making it to match up with what we have right there what does that mean it means i'm going to take my what i have on the armhole from here to here i have about four and a half and i'll come in from here to here 
on my sleeve at four and a half and make a mark. So once I've made a mark on my sleeve, I'll now come in from here to the bicep. Okay, this is actually to the bicep. So I'm going to cut. Uh, I'm marking out my sleeve now. You can see how I'm marking it out from that four inches. I'm going to mark to the bicep. It all depends on where you want. So the whole of this part now is going to be sewn from here to here. So at the end of the day, you can see that. So at the end of the day, you can see Ankara matches with this. And the uh, uh, plain pattern fabric matches with this. Can you see? So you have to sew this and this. I'm going to cut it out because that is how you are going to do that. You will cut it out and add your seam allowance. Can you see? Once you add your seam allowance, you join back. So once you have joined back, it becomes one full sleeve. And when attaching it, make sure you match it where this one starts, starts from. And you now sew into the armhole and we are done. All right, people, so these are the patterns which you require for this particular project. So I believe you learned a lot in this tutorial. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, and drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. So before we end this tutorial, I want to talk about the shirts. So if this is a shirt, you are going to cut here. Can you see? Because there will be a button. So once you cut, you add your button allowance. Can you see that? You'll be adding one one inch button allowance. Add your 0 0.5 inch allowance to sew your neckline. So if you want to continue this shirt to run with a full uh, with a full um, button, it means you also cut here if you want it to run with a full button, okay? So you also cut right here, as you can see, like this, the buttons will be sitting right here, right here, right here, buttons will sit can you see that you have your buttons all over? That is if you want to add button to the center front as a shirt, okay? By the time you sew your collar, you have the shirt run or overturn like this, okay? So thank you very much for coming and see you in the next video. Bye!